Hi, so we're in uh, Autodesk 2018, and what we're going to do this time is that we are going to go a little bit further with these 2D drawing tools. So we're going to go ahead and create a standard IPT. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time by clicking New. Notice that we're not doing uh, sheet metal, we're doing standard IPT. We do Create. <coughs> okay, as usual, we do Start 2D Sketch. Choose our favorite plane here. Okay, so now we're into 2D sketching. So we're going to go ahead and focus on this panel right here, the move, copy, rotate, trim. We're going to leave the rest of it for now. Um, but it is, it is pretty useful. So, uh, okay, so uh, let's, take a, let's take a look here. So let's say that we want, to, we want to draw a kind of a complex shape. The easiest way to do that is actually to draw, draw component shapes. So let's say that we want to draw something that looks like this. Okay, and we want a combination of two rectangles. All right. So what we do in that case is we would draw the two rectangles, and then we'd need to go ahead and trim. So that's the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to trim. Okay, out the lines. Uh, inside there, and notice that it's very easy then to create these these uh, composite shapes. Very very useful. The thing that this does for us is that if we draw with lines and then we try to dimension, what will happen invariably is that um, is that as we uh, try to dimension, the, the model won't act as the way that act the way that we thought it would, right? Because a lot of times the lines, for example, they're well the 2D constraints that we rely on that we think are there are in fact not there when we do line drawings. But if we use 2D constraints, like I'm going to go show all constraints, notice that by drawing in these shapes, the 2D constraints that we think are necessary are put into the drawing. Okay, so there we have a complex shape. Um, and as I go, I'd go ahead and dimension and notice that um, essentially what I can do is I can dimension you know, each part of it. <coughs> Um, and I, of course, if I was making an actual uh, item, I would go ahead and I would change a lot of these. Um, I'm just kind of putting them in for now. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to um, take a look at this uh, rotate. So, uh, rotate is, is useful. I'm going to right click OK. So, rotate, we're going to select everything. We're going to go ahead and rotate. The thing that we do on rotate is we select everything first, right, just like I just did. And now we're going to select the center point for that rotation, right? Okay, then what happens is, is that basically we rotate about that point. Uh, and we can also just go at an angle, right? So we want to rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, we go ahead and click done. In there and we click apply not done <laughs> okay so there we have it same thing with copy we select everything we want to copy uh, and then we go ahead and click our base point and then we're going to go ahead and move it somewhere from that base point and then click again and then when we're done we're going to go ahead and click done okay notice notice that um, it leaves the original intact there. Okay, kind of similar to copy is, um, is this idea of a pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and create another, um, another uh, kind of drawing here. So we're going to go ahead and click and make a circle. And we're going to dimension that circle to be one inch. Okay, then, uh, then what we can do here is that um, we need a reference point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a rectangle over here just as a reference. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select the circle, and then we're going to click uh, these pattern tools. So we're going to use this pattern here. Okay, select the geometry of the circle. The, that's the geometry is the thing that we want to repeat. The direction then is going to be on the, um, it's going to be, uh, the direction we're going to use 
it's going to be along an axis of uh, on something else in the drawing. That's the easiest way to do it, is just to have some reference here. So this is the number of repetitions. So let's do 65, let's do 6. And then right now they're an inch apart, so let's go 2 inches apart. Then we can do direction 2. Okay, in this case we want it you know, in the y-axis here. And then we're, or, sorry, the original was in the z and the x, but you know, because we're in 2D, I tend to default to X and Y here, which is not correct. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and go um, 6 and 2 inches and click OK. Okay, so, uh, so what we have here, I'm just going to hide all constraints. So what we have here is this pattern, right? Notice that... Um, notice that I, if I move this thing, if I grab a center of one of the circles here, I can move the entire thing at one time, right? Okay, so it acts as one thing. The other thing I can do is if I uh, right click on it, on any one of the circles, I can do edit pattern. I can also do this. I can also do what's called suppress an element. So I can right click, unsuppress element. So I can right click on here. I can do suppress element, right? So let's say that I have a bunch of things that I want to suppress. Let's say I don't want some of the circles inside the pattern. I can select them by control clicking, right click, and suppress elements. And that way I just don't have them in there. Okay, so. Uh, all right, so that's that's how we do our pattern. Uh, we can also do circular and mirror. Mirror is really uh, really useful. Let me just go ahead and kind of move this out of the way here. Mirror is really useful. So um, this is a case where let's say that we're drawing something you know pretty complicated. A lot of times you know it's uh, there are, um, there are mirrored aspects of something that we're drawing, right? So let's say that uh, let's say that we have this object and we're going to draw half of it essentially, right? So I draw this fairly complicated object. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this just for, as an example. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Mirror. So I'm going to select first. Then I'm going to choose the mirror line. Oops. Do that again here. Select too much. Okay, then I'm going to select the mirror line. And I'm going to click Apply. Okay, and notice that basically it just creates, it just flips it right over that mirror line. So, um, so that can be very, very, very useful. Uh, the circular pattern um, is a little bit easier, I think. So let's say that we have a circle again. And notice that I should be dimensioning all this. This is just as an example. We're going to go ahead and click, uh, click the geometry you want to go. We're going to go ahead and click the axis, right? going to go ahead and click the circle, circular, we're going to cl click the point that we want to move around. Okay, and notice that it gives us this, uh, you know, direction that we're moving. Okay, and let's say it, it tells us, okay, we want to put 15 of these, and then we can say, oh, we want to put 15 of these in 90 degrees, or in 180 degrees, right, so halfway around. Um, click OK, and there we have our pattern. So, it's very useful to put things in a circular uh, pattern there. Okay, so those are kind of some uh, our additional uh, 2D drawing. Um, we will go into offset, scale and stretch, extend and split are kind of um, uh, not used so much. Offset is very useful though. We'll be covering that in a later video. So, uh, okay, uh, good luck on your 2D drawing.